One, two, three. Howard. After spending three days stranded in Florida following their championship game, the 215 Falcons youth football team booked a trip home with Amtrak. But I think they tired, hungry, because they was on a bus for 22 hours. Train, train, train. Well, train, my fault. Their coaches said after the team won the United Youth Football League Championship Saturday, the charter bus they paid for was supposed to take them home to Philly. Then, never showed up. And no one from the company he worked for answered their calls. When you take this many people outside of the city to experience something different and then someone to take advantage of that, it, it's hurtful and then the kids have to see that. I saw the story and I recognized the bus. Charles Thompson with the Chester Youth Football Program says back in September, his team paid the same company ordering three buses but only got two. And he says the owner did promise a refund. Yeah, I'll give it to you. I'll get it to you like the first or second of December. So I've called him since he has not returned my call. We called the company several times again tonight and didn't hear back either. The coaches and parents ultimately came up with the money to put everyone up in Airbnbs. Then they collectively spent more than $7,000 on Amtrak tickets to get the team home. I was already home, so I already sent money reaching out to other people that I know and got them to send money to help get these kids home. A hustle through adversity something this team can now say they've succeeded at on the field and on the road. By being stuck on the train for 22 hours and just the whole trip, the whole season, and then coming down here for nationals. Leah Uko, NBC 10 News.